Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic, Wolf Gorlick. A couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Uh, making my way today to a, to a new client, so I'm relying pretty heavily on my GPS, as, as we all do. It's amazing these, uh, these address location services, right? Um, punch in a GPS coordinate, take me there. Punch in a, a address, give me a GPS. Punch an IP address, give me, give me a range, right? Give me a location. I know when we used to do security operations, uh, I would oftentimes, that was one of the first things we did. IP address, tell me tell me where it was. So uh, I noticed a pattern, as I'm sure most of you guys have, and I was later on in a training program with a client uh, for a sim, and they popped it up, did the map, showed, uh, showed the location, they're like, anyone know what this is? They're like, ah, Kansas is attacking us. <laughs> no. Like, uh, anyone else have a guess? I'm like, yeah, I got a guess. So, uh, that's this Kansas. That's the center of the U.S. That's the default location. She's just like, absolutely. Very good, Mr. Gorlick. I'm like, four stars. Uh, because that's what happens. If uh, you punch in an IP address, and if the software can't find it, it defaults the middle of Kansas, the, pretty much the geographic center of the United States. This decision was made by a company called MaxMind. MaxMind does most of the behind the scenes API work for these IP to physical address lookups. And MaxMind way back in like 2002 said, okay, what, what is gonna be our default? And somewhere in the annals of their history, some program went, ah, the center of the US, which is right about here. Fun fact, there actually is a place, as you might imagine, that uh, corresponds with that GPS coordinate. In this place that corresponds with that GPS coordinate, fun fact, there's a farmhouse. And this farmhouse is a lovely family. <laughs> this lovely family uh, has been uh, the, the recipient of a lot of abuse from people thinking that uh, they were hacking them, people thinking that uh, they are malicious actors, people misinterpreting the API results and understanding those geographic center of the US, but was thinking that it was attributing the attack to this lovely little farmhouse in Kansas. This lovely little farmhouse <laughs> they hardly ever get on the internet because it's like uh, dial-up speeds over a satellite, right? Uh, but, but MaxMind every year sends thousands and thousands of default queries their way. What does that tell us? One, we gotta be really careful if we're building apps and the decisions we make. This is the, the very definition of a chaotic environment where tiny decisions can have unexpected long-term huge outcomes right the butterfly flapping its wing will the butterfly flapping its wing causing uh, a hurricane or a tornado is the programmer deciding that this particular uh, Latin long is the default and that causing all sorts of downstream inputs for the people who live there Likewise, we have to be really careful to understand what our tools are actually saying to us. These tools are not reality. These tools are approximations. Approximations driven by decisions and decisions made by programmers uh, who may or may not be making the right ones. We've got to be really careful when we read our tools and try and do attribution to not blame some farmhouse in Kansas because that's what our tool tells us. Understanding what the output is and what the defaults are and what the butterflies are actually indicating is critical in doing attribution and in doing uh, security operations. Otherwise it's all too easy to pin it on the wrong person or go to the wrong address, which I'm hoping I'm not doing right now. Have a good one.